Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mizuki Arts. Today we are going to do something a little different. It's kind of similar to a sketchbook tour, but also like not as in depth. Um, so fun fact, when I started doing sketchbook tours, I had pulled from my most recently finished sketchbook for the first tour. And after that, I just went sequentially, right? But I had a whole bunch of sketchbooks that I had previously finished um, that never got tours because they were completed before I started my YouTube channel. So today we're just going to take a like very minimal, very brief kind of look through through some of these older sketchbooks. I'm not going to do full on tours. I'm just going to like make some comments about some of my earliest sketchbooks. And the first one that I'm going to go through is the one where I started to get like really serious about drawing and painting. Um, it's one that I bought at Walmart once upon a time. Um, <laughs> it's not the first sketchbook that I completed, um, but it's the first one where I think if I look at the art inside, I will cringe, but not so much that I won't be able to say anything on camera, if that makes sense. Um, so we're going to look at that, and we'll probably look at one or two others after that. Uh, maybe we'll even do a part two because I've got a lot of old sketchbooks I could look at. Okay, so I lied. I am a liar. Um, this is the one that I bought. Um, and then this is probably the earliest of the three here. And then this one <laughs> I, I completed in between these, these two. Um, so let's get into it. So like I mentioned, this is the first of the three um in that very chaotic intro this one is short enough that we could honestly just go through the whole thing I mean, it's not very thick uh the first drawing was actually done by my grandmother because i inherited this sketchbook from her um she was an artist she just never completed this this book of postcards she only did one or maybe two i think um so it was it was kind of a i don't know like emotional for me to inherit like something that has her artwork in it here's another uh one of hers i think there's only two in here the seashells and then the cool little i don't know is it like a seaside thing or like somewhere some kind of like place with gifts and an old variety store i'm not sure what that is um <laughs> my first one in here uh is a drawing of ruby from ruby um, I wasn't very good at this point. I don't have much to say on it. Uh, and oh, look, a fairy. Haha, -ha, that's funny. I really, I wasn't crazy about, or as crazy about fairies, I should say, uh, at this time. I think <laughs> the things that bother me most about this are the grainy watercolor and the tangents. Like, I look so unconfident. Um... Obviously, there's a lot of other things wrong with this, but like, whatever. I was, I was like 15. And then this was for a draw this in your style. It's so funny. I would never draw like a character with this type of band on the upper thigh now. I just probably wouldn't enjoy drawing that. <laughs> but this was for a draw this in your style for an artist that I've been following for years. Um... And here is my original character. I think I drew her a couple of times in um, the the next sketchbook. Um, and then here's another original character. Uh, it's, I guess like a moth girl. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. I, I'll be honest, but I like these little watercolor hearts. I think they're cute. This was another draw this in your style. And the last page is someone's OC. Uh, right, no, this one's lavender again, sorry. Um, and then this one is someone's OC I did for an art trade a long, long time ago. I wish I could remember, like, who these people were for, like, the draw this in your styles and then also the art trade. Um, I'm so sorry, <laughs> I can't. Um, it was so long ago and I didn't write notes or anything next to these. This would have been totally the perfect spot to, like, I don't know, coordinate like clearly I did some color testing and all that but 
Oh wow, that's that's it for this one. This was another sketchbook that I inherited from my grandmother. However, the only painting that was in here um, actually got framed and put up on my bedroom wall. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then everything else inside of here is mine. At this point, I had decided I wanted to do a fruits themed series. So here's my cherry girl. She's pretty cute. Um, definitely some awkward things with the proportions and all that but that's I guess no I mean it's, it's normal for like you know a 15 year old artist to like have some some troubles with that stuff and you can see like how different my like way of designing characters is now like my style and all that like this is so different from what I do now <laughs> This is a character that I've actually redrawn and redesigned uh, since drawing this original piece. Um, I gotta say though, um, why why the long face? I'm she's she's so long overall, but like the face is like like really long. I don't know what the deal is, but um, I was really into like magical girls and stuff at the time so there's definitely some inspiration for that and I really like her ridiculously tall boots. Here's the uh, second character in my Fruits series, uh, she's Mango. She's pretty uninspired, you can tell I was going through art block. Here's a pretty little mermaid girl, um, I actually really like this one still. There's obviously a lot wrong with it, but when I say I like it, I'm looking at like you know, I like the pose of the tail. Uh, I like how she's reaching up. So, you know, she's cute. She's cute. She's got some proportional issues. Here's my original character that uh, I've since redesigned and repurposed. She's kind of morphed into like the persona that's in, in my little um, channel art, you know, my channel art, my profile pic. But this character is still technically separate. I don't know how else to describe it, but like, they're not really the same. They're just also not completely unrelated, if that makes sense. Um, but I like the way that I painted the sparkles. Um, that's fun. And I also really like this like funky, patchy background I used to always do, even if it kind of looks muddy when it's like the same colors as the character. This, I think, is the last. Uh, character in my fruit series i did do a watermelon character like digitally and then i redrew her on my channel a couple years ago um so yeah um i like i like her outfit her outfit's really cute her face her face and head are really weird and i don't know why she's posed like she's gonna swing her umbrella like a bat like that's that's weird and finally here's lavender again She's like a funky alien girl, I guess, or like a ghost girl, I don't know. Uh, I kind of do like this character She, even if I don't really think it's very well done, <laughs> obviously. Um, but I think it's cute in concept, you know, like I, I like her face here, even though she has that long face that all my characters in this sketchbook seem to have. Um, and I like the way I drew this eye. <laughs> It is very different than how I draw eyes now, though, which is funny. And now we are on to the third and final uh, sketchbook that we're going to be going over in this video. Um, by the end of this sketchbook, I was, like, getting into TikTok and all that, um, which is funny because now I'm not in TikTok at all, so it's going to be, like, really weird to look back at the art that I made on TikTok. Um, this was the first sketchbook that I really like carried to school with me and everything. It's like missing its spine. It's really dirty, really beat up. Um, I painted this cover when I was like halfway through it. Oh, that's like whiplash. Oh, oh God. Okay. <laughs> I kind of got into like, like elves. I was just designing these like elf like characters with like funky animal like ears and like tails like they weren't animals they were still people um but they they just had these funny features to them um and they're not really elves but that is what I called them um which is funny I never did a lot with this they were just you know in my doodles and whatnot I feel like I ended up using something similar to this design for like a school project but I don't really remember to be honest 
it's been so long here's another one of my like funky fantasy characters um yeah not much going on here really you guys can see i'm skipping over a lot of stuff that i just don't think is worth showing off uh, here's another character design. I'm looking at her and I'm like instantly thinking of Ruby because at the time I was really into uh, Ruby and a lot of other shows like that. Here was some of my first experimentation with watercolor. Oh my god, that's just the paper. I thought there was something on it. I just really wrecked the paper. <laughs> Blank pages. A single doodle. Here I was just playing with crayons, I guess. Um, I kind of see like my current like coloring style in that a little bit, which is funny. Um, and then here I like really wasn't happy with my art style. So I was trying to like come up with another one. I'm looking at this character and I'm instantly thinking she's like Hanji, but like a witch. Like, it's funny. Here I designed a character um, that was supposed to be like a bunny witch. Uh, and I did like a full spread of her. I like her giant boots. They remind me of like um, My Hero Academia. Here I was like playing with more watercolors. Uh, and here's like a random character. Um, I like her ponytail, it's fun. Uh, <laughs> at this point I was really like just getting into it and just figuring out what it, what how watercolor is supposed to work. And here is a fox witch, I guess, to go with the bunny witch. She's actually really cute. I would love to, like, redesign her. Except maybe I would take away, like, the fox aspect. I don't know. I just feel like with her hair being the way that it is, she needs, like, a human ear. Um, but maybe that's just me. I remember, like, really not liking this. Because um, I really wanted to be one of those artists that, like, designed mecha stuff. But... I just did not have the knowledge for that um, and really like when it came down to it I like looking at that kind of art but not necessarily making it but even so I'm like looking at this and like I like the colors <laughs> they're fun at least and here are some like expressions pra practices with one of my OCs uh, I did something similar on another page I did it in class so uh, when my teacher was coming around the room and she saw me uh, drawing in my sketchbook, you know, a whole bunch of like screaming and distressed faces. She actually pulled me aside and asked if I was okay because, you know, clearly when people are distressed, they just draw sad characters and, you know, not anything else, just literally sad characters. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, I was an edgy 15 year old. There were going to be some crying girls, okay? Here's my first draw this in your style. Uh, fun fact, when I put this up, like, these are supposed to be pancakes, even though it doesn't make sense to pair that with soda. Um, but a lot of people changed it to french fries, which, you know, makes more sense. But I also wonder if my drawing was just so poorly done that, like, it genuinely looks like french fries. And it kind of does, uh, for being real. <laughs> Here was where I decided to do Inktober, literally on the last day of October. Um, I didn't get very far, clearly. This dog looks like a furry, and that upsets me. Here I was experimenting with just doing, um, like, inking and then, like, a color black background. I still find this style of illustration, like, really interesting. Um, I think I did another one. I did. Yeah, look at her. She's cute. I mean, obviously, you know, I had the skills that I had back then, but I do like the scratchy lines. Like, those are fun. Here's more of uh, that last minute Inktober. More of that um, ink and like a solid color background. Here's a little character with some fun texture on the hair. More last minute Inktober. Maybe this wasn't the year that I decided to do it on the, all on the same day. I was probably, that was probably the year prior. I probably actually tried to do 30, 31 days of Inktober. Here's more. <laughs> more character expressions. This was not the one that my teacher caught me on. Um, we're, we're getting to that, I promise. Yep, this was it. This was it. She saw this face specifically, I'm pretty sure. I did more of this with another character. More of these little practice faces. I actually kind of like that one. She's kind of pretty, even though, you know, obviously could have been drawn better. Still cute. 
I got a lot of compliments on this one because I was drawing it, I think, during lunch. Um, I actually kind of like this hand. Like, obviously, it's not super well drawn. I kind of want to redraw this one. So if you guys are interested in that, please let me know because I definitely would want to do it. Like, it looks like fun. I was experimenting with leaving my sketch and doing like a very loose line art. Um, I kind of like it, but this, this drawing I don't like like at all and I remember not being happy with it. Nezuko because of course I was a huge weeb. I still love anime but you know it's it's different now. <laughs> I was learning a lot during this time. Uh, pretty much was never art blocked like I was just always drawing. I still kind of think this is cool. This is the kind of art that like you can always do well. <laughs> I did more. <laughs> I like this one. At this point, I was super unhappy with my art style and I really wanted to change it to something more aesthetic and Instagram friendly. Like I was really into a lot of those artists that were like super popular online and just had these like empires of people that bought their work and bought prints from them and stuff. And I just thought I had to fit my art style to that. But of course I was 15 uh, and I figured out pretty quickly that the joy of creating was a lot more important. I was so proud of this one. Just the pose is like really interesting. Little Himiko Toga. Um, yeah, I was, I was a fan of My Hero Academia, but like casually, not like the weird people. I was sick when I drew this, so naturally it never got finished. Uh, it's pretty awkward looking. Here was when I started working on my old webtoon from back in the day. It's still out there if one felt like uh, searching back for it. But I have to warn you, um, I didn't get very far and honestly it's not that original. I loved my characters but the story was just eh. And here's my watercolor or my watermelon girl. Uh, I actually posted her like probably four times just because I felt like the posts kept flopping. I actually think this piece is like pretty interesting. I like the way that I drew the little sprouts. Um, I was definitely uh, really inspired by Kinney Art uh, because she had passed away and so her art was everywhere. Um, it was already everywhere but you know, more so. Whenever I look back at my old work and I see Japanese characters uh, written on the piece or what Google Translate told me for Japanese characters and everything, um, I'm just like, I hope that says what I wanted it to say and not something entirely different. I mean, like, I I enjoyed like the, the Harajuku-esque vibes uh, in in creating this back one and I still I really like the little shapes under her eye but I feel like the fact that I wrote another language's words on here I'm just like I hope I hope that says like monster or whatever it is I wanted it to say I'm pretty sure I wanted it to say monster but I, I could be wrong I don't know I don't remember practice 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 oh my god I was doing so much practice at this time more practice. I really need to do more practicing in my sketchbook now. Like, just more so I can grow. Looks like I was a little art blocked here. Lots of plants and stuff. I remember being pretty proud of this one, even with its strange bending legs. I don't know what that was. Here I was trying to learn how to draw like holographic fabrics. It's not too bad. Here's another one of those crazy kind of doodly pages. And then finally, I'm going to show you this character page. I'm actually really, like, I remember being proud of this. I'm pretty sure I took it into like a digital drawing app and colored it. Um, yeah, she's actually pretty cute. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a little look at some of my old sketchbooks. If you wanna see more of my old sketchbooks, especially from like my, my TikTok era, um, let me know in the comments down below. I think it might be fun and also a little bit painful for me, but you know, fun nonetheless. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.
Real quick before I get going, I want to say a quick thank you to my Kofi supporters. So thank you so much to Ashley, Savvy, and Tiffany. Your guys' support means the world to me and allows me to keep making videos like this one. So thank you so, so much. If you want to join my Kofi tiers, then the link will be in the description box for all these benefits and so much more. And also, I want to say thank you guys for your patience since last week I wasn't able to get a video out due to being sick. So just thank you so much and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!